Here we are. Source of the test. Wessex Downs. It, when, sometimes when it's really wet, there's been loads and loads of winter rain. The river comes all the way across that field. So this whole area is like a great big bowl and the water feeds into the chalk aquifers. So here we go. This is it. This is actually the beginning of the river. The river test. Underwhelming, but everybody's got to start somewhere. That's what I think. Source of the test. Within 10 feet, it's directed under a, a beautifully brick-built culvert. The other side of the road, directed straight onto another brick culvert under the main 3400 into the meadow. So very quickly, we send it whichever way we want, which is towards Overton and the first of the mills. So actually, the natural part of the test is that pool and that's it and then it's uh it's driven off by us so it's the working river that we said off we go and then oh my god <laughs> please don't rip my trousers There's dozens of, of little, like I say, boggy streams and not much more than ditches like this, which is what eventually all feed into the, into the river. I expect people that live in that house over there, they would say that this is the source of the test. And then people that live the other side of the road would say that's the source of the test. I think there's a fair amount of discussion and counterclaims. So this is actually where it really does look like a chalk stream. Absolutely amazing. And already you could almost fish. This, my God, I think you could drink that water. I'm not going to, but I think you could. It won't be too long before it's being deliberately directed over towards Overton and the first of the loads of mills that it was serviced to, or tasked to service rather. And now it's a foot deep here. <laughs> this is amazing. If I see a trout in a minute, I'm gonna jump in. Oh, look at this. We are in the chalk stream. See, so I think I'm on the main branch, but even here there's little side streams coming in. Ah, oh, here we are. Proper, proper work. This is Obviously, I think it's probably the World Trout Trust. They've done work up here. And it's absolutely magnificent.
see the see the goose laid down over there on a nest hiding from me. I can see you, darling. Nowadays, it's, it's, it's a question of putting stuff in a river, not taking stuff out of a river. And you can see exactly what it does. It scours out everything. This is the way to stop flooding, is to pinch this water up and push it about and a nice bed of what will be ranunculus growing there. A couple of months time you probably couldn't walk through here, it's going to be this high. I'm just going to walk around again, I'm very very wary of any late trout reds. Place is so. I think I'm getting emotional. Manipals must be. People think that the test is all manicured like Kew Gardens. It's not all manicured like Kew Gardens. Some of it, most of it, is like this. All these little fields alongside the river, you can see where the old furrows are, where they used to flood the meadows. In days gone by, used for flooding meadows and driving mills. I know, and I knew from a very early age, when I was about 10, 11 years old, my mates were trying to figure out Pink Floyd, I was trying to figure out why ranunculus wouldn't grow in deep water. I never had many girlfriends when I was young. You see that trout laid in, in the white hole there, in, on the gravel. Beauty. Cracking little fish. I bet that's good. There he goes. I bet that's half a pound. Sorry, mate. Disturbed you now. In the tree roots over there, see all the little could be uh, could be kingfisher holes. Oh, what a privilege to walk down here! I mean, it really is civilization over there. Another problem for the test. Going to this this nearest bit, this is what the river test would look like if it wasn't looked after. I mean not, not a completely bad thing, but that's what it would look like if it wasn't for us glorious people called river keepers. Great place to have a little greenhouse.
this almost looks like a little bit of a little bit of amateur bank work which is fantastic which is really nice if local people do stuff like that I like that I think that's a nice I think that's good I like it now then where the hell am I going? Okay, this is getting a bit tricky now. Perhaps back on the... I might have to walk down the main river for... I don't know why, but I feel like I'm walking through the... jungle somewhere. Beautiful star walk again. sure where I'm going but I'm definitely going in the right direction downstream and again it's a it's kind of like a very very lightly keepered bit as in trees fall in so they're just maybe trimmed up a bit but left where they fall you could fish it, you'd have to wade up and fish it, which again is wonderful. But perhaps if people don't fish it. Little hatch pools. Little hatch pools are the favourite place to fish. Well, in, in a month's time, you, I wouldn't be able to walk through here. This, all this reed and sedge will all grow up four or five foot tall and completely hide the river. Okay, we're under attack. This thing is going to drop something on me. I can tell. Right over my head. Woohoo! Woohoo! Look at that fish in there. Grayling. See, the grayling are beginning to shoal up for spawning now in April and that's what those are over there yeah, look at the way the river it pinches itself up it's just a bit too wide so it almost grows an extra bank clever let the river teach us as Ron Holloway used to always say he said a lot of other things as well but I always remember that one. Now that is a great seat. If you're going to have a seat anywhere, what about there? 
I hope they wouldn't mind if I... Oh my lord, what a place to sit. Canada geese will shout at me and then take off. Beautiful tree. Oh. oh my lord, hug a tree, stunning tree. Now then, where am I going to go? Through the jungle by the looks of it. be over here. Fucking hell! Holy shit. Oh. What a place, what a magnificent place. That's the trout race. Look at this ranunculus. This is ranunculus. That's what it's all about. That's what we want. Beautiful thing to drive over to your house. Yes. Swans on here. It's still. It's probably two and a half foot deep, and they're completely muller the weed. Bless them. Oh, I love you, 
Now that is bear meal. Who can resist? Not me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You cannot, but cannot, eat a swing over a river. And the people that worked in Bear Mill, 300 years, 250 years ago, would have done exactly this. Probably not on this piece of rope. just used to drive mills, which is one just down there. So it's the one thing that people forget, the test is pretty much a hundred percent man-made. So that river has been lifted up, well it is, it's 10 feet, just to feed that mill. I guess that's a red cedar. I love them. Now the next bit we kind of come to is called the lawns and it was where Lord Denning's home who was probably the most famous English judge, master of the rolls I think he ended up. And he was a witchurch and bread man. There's quite a few famous people from Witchurch. Lord Denning, Richard Abbott, where it's, it's a place of authors. Myself, Richard Abbott, Adams. My book sold about three and a half thousand copies. Richard Adams. Watership down, I think it's sort of about a hundred million. Whatever, I'm still learning. Oh, this is beautiful again, it's all beautiful. Unusual gorse on a riverbank. I've never seen that before. And then, I think this is Tufton. Now this bridge, I will fit under very easily. And look at this, what a, what a structure to build. Just across the river, beautiful. This is, I think, the nicest hut on the river. And this is 
the last place I ever saw Vic catch a trout was over there. This is my evening accommodation. Oh, lovely, perfect. Top See you later there. on. <laughs> See you in the morning. <laughs> Thanks a lot, mate. It's kind of you. I absolutely have to sit on that too. There you go, Wait for Hello! Holy shit. Oh my god, he's safer. Well, cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Thanks. Cheers, Lamont. <laughs> <laughs>